Hi, so in this video, I'll be showing you how 3D camera actually works in After Effects. And then at the end of the video, we are going to create these two effects. So first of all, let's understand what 3D camera actually is. You can add it by clicking over here and then choosing this. Now 3D camera is actually a cube which has length, breadth and height, which means it has three dimensions. That's why it's called a 3D camera and you can add your objects in it to create these kind of effects. One more thing that you can use is this. Using this, you can change angles and see your object from every angle, like the front one, like the back one, top one, the bottom one, and yeah, that's it. I know it looks and sounds very complicated, but trust me, once you try it, it actually becomes very easy. So I just hope you understood the basics and now let's create these effects. So first of all, make sure that every layer that you're using is below the 3D camera layer. And after that, turn every single layer into a 3D layer. You can do that by clicking on this box. And if you don't see this, just click on toggle switches and you should be able to see it now. Now it will look kind of messy. So you have to adjust them by using position properties and also make sure you use this because it kind of makes adjusting them quite easy. So we are going to use position property to adjust these layers because position property has all three dimensions which you can control through here. The X axis is obviously the right and left, the Y axis is up and down and the Z axis is back and forward. Don't confuse it with scale because a lot of people do it, but it's not scale, okay? You are just pushing it back. That's why it looks small. And if you just pull it forward, it will look big. That's all. And by the way, this is the most important property. So make sure you just remember about this. Now I have actually adjusted every single one of them because it takes a lot of time. It took me around 45 minutes to do so, which is kind of annoying, but you just have to do it. Okay, so yeah. Now let's just add the animations. Okay, so first of all, let's add a null layer. And after that, pair the camera to the null layer. Now click on this and hit P and make sure you separate the dimensions and make sure you make the null layer 3D as well. I forgot to do it over here. So yeah, make sure you don't forget. Now you can see I can manipulate all the all the different properties separately. Like this, this is the X, this is the Y and this is the Z. Now I'm going to put a keyframe on the Z and then I'm going to hit R to open up the rotations and I'm going to keyframe the Z rotation. And I think I'm going to put it to around minus six. Yeah, that should be fine. Then I'm going to go over here then I'm going to put this one to zero and I'm going to hit you so that I can only see the keyframes and I'm going to just increase the Z position until I reach the final layer. Yeah, I think this should be fine. Now I'm going to select the Z position and hit up nine to easy the keyframes. Then I'm going to graph it like this. By the way, this is a speed graph. So you make sure you remember that and I'm going to graph it like this. After that, click on Z position as well and hit F9 to easy ease them. And I'm going to graph it in a similar way. See, that looks really good in my opinion. And obviously, if you want to slow down them, you can just increase the distance between the keyframes and mess around with the graph a bit. Yeah, that looks really good. And as you can see, I have added a drop shadow to these stairs because they kind of stand out if I just add the drop shadow. These are the settings, by the way, if you want to look. And yeah, there is one more effect that I want to show you guys. First of all, let's add a adjustment layer and add optic composition to it. I'm gonna set this one to 65. And yeah, that is it for the video. I know this is quite basic, but I wanted to cover basics first so that I can make advanced tutorials in the future. So yeah, if you want to watch them, just subscribe. And if you have any tutorial ideas, leave them in the comment section. I'll get to them as soon as possible.